In order to save the toolpaths into a format that your CNC will understand, all that you need to do is go to toolpaths and then select save toolpaths. This will open up the save toolpath dialog box. And within here, you can select what toolpaths that you would like to save. Now, if you have a tool changer, what you need to do is make sure that you have each of the tool numbers corresponding with whatever is in the carousel. If you don't have a tool changer, then a good thing to do is to save the tools to separate files down the bottom there. Saves you having to do each toolpath individually. So you can just batch convert them basically. You can also append the toolpath details to the file name. So it gives all this information on the actual file name so you know what that is. You can select browse to save this, created a folder called Junior's Room, and I'm going to call this Junior. Select open, and that will save that on my desktop in that folder with a file name of Junior. Now the machine file format is basically a converter that converts the information from ArtCam into a format that your CNC or laser will understand. Now there are lots and lots of machine file format files within here, and we support the vast majority of machines. Now we have lots and lots of files within here for different types of machines. Just select the machine that you want. We also have a generic G code. So let's say I have just a machine that accepts what we call G code. Select that, click save, and then I can go into my folder and you can see that I've got all of the toolpaths in there. You can open one of them up. You can just open this up in Notepad or WordPad, and they're just commands telling the CNC what to do and coordinates telling it where to go. Now, all that you need to do is take these, put them on a USB or over a network, and then put them onto your machine. 